Today, we're here in 2017 to find out what would have happened if LeBron James left the Cleveland Cavaliers instead of Kyrie Irving. LeBron's here in Boston, playing alongside Gordon Hayward, who I'ma slide over to the two so that him and Bron can start. And this team also has guys like Al Horford and Marcus Smart, and of course, young Jason Tatum. Meanwhile in Cleveland, Kyrie is sharing the floor with Kevin Love, D. Wade, and Isaiah Thomas. Let's get started with season number one and see how these squads do. Season number one is wrapped and we saw LeBron James make all NBA second team in Boston, averaging about 23 points, 8 boards, and 9 assists. Kyrie did not end up making any all NBA teams this season and the Cavs won 44 games, which was actually better than the Celtics who only won 42. Kyrie was solid, averaging 26 and 7 on the season. We'll see if either one of these teams can make some noise in the East. Round number one, the Cavs are doing well against Toronto, but the Celtics with LeBron are down 3-1 to the Bucks. And the Celtics are gonna lose in five, while the Cavs end up advancing to round two. So Kyrie's kinda hooping, and now he's got the Philadelphia 76ers in the second round. Game one of the series goes to the Cavs. Game two's gonna go to Philly. Game three also goes to Philly. And oh man, the Cavs end up losing in five. So an uneventful first season for both of these squads. LeBron tried his best to carry the Celtics out of round one, but it wasn't enough. And Kyrie played some great playoff basketball, but the Sixers were just too much for the Cavs. Headed into season number two, LeBron James is still in Boston, but Kyrie Irving is over in Los Angeles because this was the year, 2018, where Bron made the move to LA. Checking out the Celtics, they got solid role players, but Tatum isn't the star that we know him to be today, so LeBron's gonna have to carry. And in LA, they just got a lot of young guys, so Kyrie is gonna have to hoop this year. Season is wrapped and LeBron James makes All-NBA second team, averaging a kind of mid 28 and seven. And Kyrie didn't make All-NBA, but his Lakers were hooping 48 and 34 as Kyrie averaged 20 and seven. Meanwhile, over in Boston, the Celtics went even crazier. They won 56 games. So it looks like both LeBron and Kyrie are in a position where they should be competing for a championship this year. Well, I was wrong about Kyrie. He got swept in round one. But it looks like the Celtics will move on to round number two where they're taking on Milwaukee. The Bucks made an in-season trade to go get Kevin Love. And of course, they still have Giannis and Chris Middleton, so definitely a good team. Game number one of the series goes to us. They take game two, they also take game three. We're down 3-1. We're gonna take game five, but we end up losing in six. LeBron had a really good playoff run. His numbers went up across the board. And Kyrie was pretty solid as well, but unfortunately, neither one of our guys ended up winning the championship. But now we're here in the 2019-2020 season. Remember, the Lakers won the ring in 2020 after going out and adding AD in the 2019 offseason. Meanwhile, in real life, Kyrie made a big offseason move back in 2019 as well. He went to Brooklyn to team up with KD, but this time LeBron is going to be playing alongside KD. This should be a crazy duo. Shout out to LeBron, All-NBA second team once again as he averaged 25-7-7. And man, 2K doesn't show Kyrie any love, because despite the Lakers winning 50 games and him averaging 23-5, and five, Kyrie did not make All-NBA. And man, things were kind of tragic over in Brooklyn. They only won 38 games, and they're in the play-in tournament. They ended off the season with the Traster class, losing five in a row. I mean, we'll see if they can get out of the play-in, and they will. They end up earning the seventh seed, where they'll be taking on Brooklyn and the Lakers are gonna be taking on Golden State in round number one. It looks like the Nets are gonna have an early exit this year. Meanwhile, the Lakers will move on to the second round where they're gonna be taking on the Los Angeles Clippers, a classic battle of LA. Now the Lakers definitely have their work cut out for them because of course they're going up against Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Game number one of the series goes to the Clippers. Game two goes to the Lakers. Lakers are up two to one. Lakers up three one and they make easy work of the LA Clippers. Now it's gonna be the Houston Rockets with the Brody in the beard. Game number one of the series goes to Houston. Game two also goes to Houston. Oh man, it looks like Harden and Russ were hungry for that NBA championship. Shout out to Kyrie though. He left it all out on the floor. And yeah, Braun was kind of mid in round one against the Sixers, so I don't know what was going on in Brooklyn this year, but they were not good. 
Shout out to Russ though, winning a championship. Now it's time for the 2020-2021 season, where AD and Kyrie are still together. The Lakers also have some new faces like Andre Drummond, Montrez Harrell, and the bag securer, Dennis Schroeder. Meanwhile, Brooklyn has a mean big three, KD, LeBron, and James Harden. This team should be a threat to win it all. James Harden won MVP playing alongside Bron and KD in Brooklyn. I did not expect that. LeBron made All-NBA second team, averaging 27-9. and And again, Kyrie didn't make All-NBA, despite his Lakers being the one seed and him averaging 22-7. and Now what's crazy is, not only were the Lakers the one seed, the Nets were also the one seed. So I feel like there's a chance these two squads could meet in the finals. Unless Brooklyn's just gonna lose in round one to the Magic, what's going on? If they lose to Jarrett Culver, I'ma be flabbergasted. You've got to be kidding me. Markel Fultz gave us 28 and dropped us off. Oh my gosh, this is bad. But hey, Kyrie, his playoff run's still going. In round two, he's going to be taking on Utah. Game one of the series goes to LA. Game two is going to go to Utah. Game three also goes to the Lakers. Lakers up 3-1 and they take care of him in five. Kyrie might just get a chip. Now he does have to get past the Mavericks who have Luka and KP. Early on, Kyrie's got a 2-1 lead, but it's all tied up at two apiece headed into game five. Let's get in the Simcast. Lakers are down by six here with only 27 seconds to go. So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it's probably gonna take a miracle. Andre Drummond gives it into Kuz. Kuz over to Kyrie. Kyrie open for three and it's good. All right, LA might have a chance. Now, realistically, we need Luka to miss at least one of these. It'd be nice if he missed both, but it's Luka. First one is cash. Second one is off. Oh, wow. We actually missed. Ball goes up to Irving. Kyrie, what are you doing? Speed up. Do something. Screen's going to come from Drummond. Yo, we don't have much time. Kyrie for three. He air <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I was rooting for Kyrie, but that that's crazy. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. That's ridiculous, man. Kyrie didn't even hit the rim on that three. No worries, though, Kyrie. Our season's still alive, headed into game six. We win this one, force game seven, win another game, boom, we're in the finals. It's really that simple. And we do win game six, so we just need one more. Shout out to Drummond, 21 and 11. Kyrie, he was nowhere to be found in this one, only 10 points. We're going to need a big game from Kyrie and AD in game seven to close this one out. It's a big dub for us in this one. We end up winning by 19 points. Nobody played that well. It was kind of just a team effort. But I mean, hey, it worked. Luka had 41 and the Mavs still couldn't win. And in the NBA Finals, we're going to be taking on Philadelphia. I guess this is an alternate universe where Ben Simmons didn't pass out of that layup. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two also goes to us. We take game three. Sixers take game four, but we end up beating them in five. Kyrie Irving wins the 2021 NBA championship and AD wins finals MVP. What a run for Irving, man. He ends up winning a ring in LeBron's shoes. And now we're headed into the 2021-22 season where the Nets big three is still together. And in LA, they just made a big pickup, the Brody. It might be rough for the Lakers as they try to repeat. They just lost out on a lot of their role players because of that West trade the guy from the space jam movie makes all nba second team averaging 24 points seven rebounds and eight assists and did y'all really think Kyrie was gonna make it he didn't and also oh my goodness the lakers lost 11 in a row to end off the season tragic but hey over in brooklyn things were going well lebron was hooping and overall the team played good basketball winning 52 games in round number one they're taking on indiana and oh my goodness this team sucks in the playoffs like, there's no way y'all lose to the Pacers in six games. Shout out to Sabonis, though, I guess. He was hooping and dropped off LeBron, KD, and Harden. Now it's time for the 2022-23 season, where the Lakers still have AD and Kyrie, but they also picked up some other pieces like D'Lo, Vando, and Rui Hachimura. Meanwhile, LeBron and Luka are teamed up in Dallas. This duo might just be overpowered. I mean, Luka's already broken enough in the sim. You add LeBron in the mix, it might be over. Luka won MVP averaging a mean 33 point, basically triple double because he's him in the sim. I mean, of course, Luka's really good in real life, but man, 2K loves Luka Doncic. Also, LeBron played some great basketball. 
And of course, Kyrie didn't make all NBA, but the Lakers were really good as Kyrie averaged 22 points and four assists and LA went 51 and 31. Good enough for the third seed in the West, the Mavs were 56 and 26, which made them the first seed. In round number one, Dallas is taking on Phoenix and the Lakers are taking on Golden State. It looks like both teams are gonna finish the job here. Maybe I spoke too soon. The Mavs and the Suns are headed to a game seven. I know Luka and Devin Booker aren't exactly best friends, so hopefully Luka remembers that when they go out and play in this game seven. Hey, y'all knew the Suns weren't winning in game seven. They still had Chris Paul on the team. They were cooked. Bron gave him 49. <laughs> Christian Wood had 30. I thought it was going to be Luka popping off for like 100 points, but nah, it was Bron and Christian Wood. Christian Wood's going crazy against the Suns in the playoffs. So is Bron. Luka's been kind of mid for his standards, but don't worry. His guys had his back. In round two, the Mavs are taking on the Nuggets and the Lakers are going to be taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. And both of these series are going seven. Here we go, man. We're gonna hop into the Lakers versus OKC one first, and then we'll check out the one between the Mavs and the Nuggets. Oh man, Kyrie ended up losing by 12. I was really hoping Bron and Kyrie would face each other in the conference finals. But hopefully Bron can at least make it. I wanna see one of our guys in the conference finals. The LeBron and Luka duo got it done. LeBron had 54. This man is on a different level. He's averaging like a 32 point triple double. And Luka went crazy in this one too. I don't know how the Nuggets were supposed to stop him. In the conference finals, it's going to be OKC. Let's see if LeBron can finish the job that Kyrie couldn't. Game number one of the series goes to the Mavs. Game two also goes to Dallas. Game three goes to the Thunder. Thunder also take game four. So we're all tied up, headed into a big game five. LeBron and Luka just don't lose big games. The dynamic duo went off once again. They're one game away from the NBA finals. Mavs are down by five here with about a minute to go. Let's see if they can make this comeback and close out the series. Ball's gonna go into Isaiah Joe. Joe gives it right to SGA. Shea Gilgis Alexander gets the screen from Holmgren. Shea to the basket on Luka and layup is good. We're probably going to need a three right here. LeBron James bringing up the ball. James trying to work his way to the basket on Chet. Oh, he said Chet's too little. Get in the weight room, LeBro. And now the maps are down by five. They need a quick stop. Shea Gildas Alexander at the top of the key here. He's going to find Josh Giddy. Giddy fakes a couple times. He's getting doubled. Why would you double Josh Giddy? Now it goes over to Holmgren. Holmgren layup is up and it's off. Mavs grab the rebound. All right, here's our chance. James up to Doncic. Luka spins off a of Giddy to the basket, down to Wood, and the dunk is good. So just like that, we're within three points, 28 seconds to go. Chet Holmgren going to give it into SGA, and we're going to intentionally foul. First shot for Gilgis Alexander is cash. And yeah, we know these are going in. We're down by five. We need a three. Maxi Kleba gives it into Luka Doncic. Doncic trying to get downhill. We need to shoot a three. Luka mid-range is good. Now the Thunder are going to go to Shea for some more free throws. Both are good for SGA. No timeouts left here. Just push the ball up the floor and shoot a three. LeBron wasting a lot of time. He finds Kleba wide open. Come on, hit it. Oh, man. Come on, bro. That was such a free shot for Maxi Kleba, but he didn't knock it down. So we lose in game six. We're headed to game seven here. And it looks like in game seven, we're going to get a big win. LeBron and Luka just don't lose in these big games. LeBron 44. Luka had a triple-double. Christian Wood has been incredible. He put up 30 in this one. And now in the NBA Finals, we're going to be taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two goes to Philly. Game three also goes to us. We're up 3-1 and we win a ring. LeBron wins Finals MVP. What a run this was for LeBron. So far in this video, LeBron and Kyrie have a ring apiece. Let's see if they can break the tie in the final season. Here we are in the modern day for the final season. Kyrie's with the Lakers, LeBron's with the Mavs. Let's get into it. Luka, another MVP, 38, 12, and 10 with LeBron on his team. LeBron was all NBA first team at 39 playing alongside Luka. Lakers were a play-in team. They won 44 games. So if LA wins the play-in tournament game and earns the seventh seed, then they'll be taking on the Mavs, who had the second spot after winning 52 games. So hopefully that happens, and it does, W script. 
So we've got LeBron versus Kyrie for the first time in this video. They've never faced off in a playoff series in real life since Kyrie left Cleveland. They could have if he wasn't hurt that one year Bron played the Celtics, but it is what it is. Game one goes to the Mavs, game two also goes to the Mavs, game three to the Lakers, game four to the Mavs, and the Mavericks cook Kyrie and the Lakers. Yeah, Kyrie, I don't know how much you could have done against this duo. Oh my gosh, dog, this is insane. Bro, they both averaged 40? How was that even possible? They both, they both almost averaged a 40-point triple-double. Come on, man. Round two, Dallas is going to be taking on Denver, but how do you stop this duo, bro? They're breaking the game. Yeah, get Denver out of here. Mavs are moving on to the conference finals where they're taking on the Clippers. Game one goes to the Mavs. Game two also goes to the Mavs. Game three to the Clippers. Oh, they're, they're done. They're done. We're in the NBA Finals. Luka, you know, a smooth 40 in the Conference Finals to lead us here. And in game five, LeBron dropped 45, 11, and 12 to finish the job against the Clippers. He's averaging 33 and a half these playoffs. Luka's averaging basically 44. I know Joel dropped 70, but come on, he's not stopping us. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to the Sixers. Game three also goes to the Sixers. My bad, Joel. My bad. You know what, Bron? Just make a 3-1 comeback. You've done it before. Oh, never mind. We end up losing in five. Joel Embiid is finals MVP. That was still a fun last playoff run, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.